Hello, Masaka Universe, to the first part of the Copa America jersey review, which fortunately won't be that long because it's only three groups. So we have only three parts. Still, we're going to look at every jersey that I think could be worn, the current home and away jerseys. Um, and you know, there, as we will see, there will be some special um, jerseys issued for the Copa America. There are also two guest teams, which we will see in the next two parts, which we already reviewed at the Asian Cup. I will still look at them, but I might not spend as much time with them. Um, what am I wearing? I'm wearing my 2014 Brazil home jersey. I haven't made a video for that one. I will follow up with that uh, probably after I make this series that will look at the Copa America jerseys that I have not made a video for. Uh, or Copa America team jerseys. This, this Peru jersey. This Argent these two Argentina jerseys. Probably the third one, which is here. And a Colombia jersey. So all those are coming soon. But let's start reviewing uh, jerseys and we'll start with the hosts, Brazil. And I don't want to start with the actual home jersey, I want to start with this special uh, jersey which I initially thought is the away jersey for 2019. Now it was only worn in the uh, opening game, so I'm not sure if it's, is it just a special jersey, is it the away jersey, in any way it was worn in the opening game. And it actually looked marvelous. It's this white jersey that probably has everyone talking about this year. I think this is the national team jersey uh, this year in sense of its novelty. Brazil has not been wearing white, except for the FIFA Centenary match in 2004, but has not been wearing white at home in Brazil since more or less the Maracanazzo. I think there were a few games that they were still uh, wearing white, but after the Maracanazzo, there's of course, this, uh, as the story goes, a new jersey needed to be, designed, to be designed. And in time for 1954, we had this yellow jersey with green and blue pants. But white was the original look for Brazil, and I made a lengthy post on my blog on the history of the Brazil home jersey, and you can read up there a little bit more. I was very excited to see this one. Um, especially, I like it because the template uh, with the collar is something I haven't seen with Nike in a long time. And I absolutely love when Brazil has these jerseys with the um, uh, short collar and then this little triangle on the front, which this time is um, also colored. I remember most of the time in Brazil had this in the 1990 and in 2013 it was not colored. Uh, other than that, it's very simple. It has uh, blue sleeve cuffs. It has uh, the Brazil crest. Of course, it says Brazil, which it didn't say at the Home World Cup, uh, with the five stars on top in green, which gives a nice color contrast. And the number on it is blue with green, which I also think is a really nice uh, touch to have it on there. Um, the back, you have the taping the same as on the... Um, current away jersey, the blue one, which also, uh, given that it's a little bit more green, gives a lot more contrast. I really like this jersey. It's a great looking jersey uh, and I feel very comfortable giving it nine full stars. There's, uh, it's just a stunner and I'm glad that they made this historic jersey, which is there to um, commemorate 100 years of first hosting and first winning the Copa America in Brazil. So it was in 1919, makes also a whole lot of sense. They did a good job on that one. And so they did for the home jersey, which is basically the same thing, but in the usual colors. Um, what can I tell you? It's the same thing, yellow, green, everything I want from a Brazil jersey. Green sleeve cuffs, green collar, triangle insets, and now colored in green as well. This is as perfect as it gets. Um, if they would have worn, worn something like that on the uh, World Cup that they hosted, I would, yeah, I, mean, I, I don't dislike this one, but I would have been absolutely uh, happy to have to that. This is my favorite Brazil look, even with the taping on the back, uh, which it does not necessarily call for, but I think this also looks quite nice. Uh, green number, same style at the 2018 World Cup. This is a great looking jersey and notes probably the last one that features the old style crest because Brazil is updating this one. Looks similar, but 
in my opinion, not as nice, but you know, you gotta get used to those things uh, before you judge them. Um, I remember the 2014 Germany home jersey when I first saw it, I was well, and now this is more or less one of my favorite Germany kits. Um, yeah, I don't want to add the ever on there. This style of Brazil jerseys is my favorite. I've said it many times, I would have liked to have a 2013 kit. I would like to have this one. Um, I have no problem giving this 10 stars. 10 stars is also what I gave originally on my blog uh, to the Blue Brazil away jersey. And I don't want to spend too much time because I don't know if it will be worn at the Copa, but it's kind of now this third alternative. Brazil probably will be, have no problem playing in all yellow through the entirety of the tournament. But should they have to play in blue because the white uh, clashes and the yellow clashes, which already is a little bit unlikely, should they play in blue, they will pull out the one from the World Cup. Also like this one. This is the, I think I would like to have this away jersey. Um, I usually like it blue and white better, but here the yellow uh, accents with a uh, number and the um, swoosh work really well. I also like that there are the five stars kind of sublimated into the pattern. Um, the back, similar, I like the taping uh, with the yellow and the green gives it also some identity. Another great looking shirt that I gave nine stars. Brazil looks sharp, at least on the field. Not necessarily so far with play, but you know, that can always change. Bolivia is up next and this is now one of two marathon shirts that we're looking at, an Ecuadorian company that actually is now taking over the Andean teams a little bit. Uh, Bolivia has had marathon shirts for quite a while and this one is a very interesting uh, one. It has of course the traditional dark green but with this nice pattering in there that I absolutely uh, like. It gives it a nice structure. I'm not so crazy about the yellow side stripes. Um, it reminds me about the Puma 2014 template. The color is kind of nice. Uh, a nice, uh, yeah, crew, v-neck. It's somewhere in between because the yellow accent, it should, in my opinion, extend all the way to the back. That it doesn't do that is maybe one other point of contention. Uh, but yeah, the pattern is mainly on the front. The sleeves are slightly darker. Uh, or it's the same as the middle of the pattern. I like that there's a Bolivian flag on there. The Federation crest, I have to say, uh, yes, it has a soccer ball on there, but it also has a condor on there um, and a shield. So that's definitely one of the better ones. Overall, I think this is a really nice jersey that I have no problem giving eight stars to. Uh, and the away jersey is not exactly a reversal, but it basically, uh, takes uh, reverses green uh, with white not yellow then has green side stripes and also has uh, green uh, shoulders um, in a way but more in the back similar to what New Balance has been doing and instead of this uh, diamond pattern going down it has uh, a hooped shadow pattern it makes the crest stand out a little bit more as on the home jersey. Um, I actually like the overall look of this one. And maybe again, the color is a little bit odd, but it looks better here because the green is coming to the front. If the sleeve cuffs were Bolivian flags and not just this green with lime green or yellow on there, this could look a little bit better. Um, I'm not so sure about the form stripes that go a little bit on the back as well. This uh, seems uh, slightly odd to me. And for that, I'm gonna go here with seven stars. Next up is Venezuela, uh, which to me, when I first, now I know for a while, but when I first saw Venezuela kit, I was not expecting the wine red. Givova is finally issuing this kit and there has been a whole story where uh, Givova has been the kit sponsor, but they bought some other brands kits and pu uh, plugged Givova over for a friendly in March, uh, really, really, really messy story. Now they kind of made good on it. And the only time we so far heard about Givova was when we were looking at the uh, Kievo kits from the last Serie A season. So now we see Givova again. They made a really nice looking shirt. I mean, it's wine red with the collar, a standing collar rug, uh, or rugby style collar and the Federation crest, which, you know, 
on any uh, Venezuela jersey, this is gonna stand out. Um, but it actually, I like it that it's uh, a little bit of a different color splash. I'm sure it will uh, not not be worn with those check marks on the side, um, unless this is some branding of Chivoa, which I honestly do not know at this point. Uh, it would seem a little bit weird to me. But I think these kits look really nice. Um, nothing fancy on them, but I think we can give this a straight 8 star. Uh, the away kit is something special. I mean, it basically takes the same style as the home kit, but it adds red sleeve cuffs and it, of course, adds the big V all over uh, the shirt. It reminds me a teeny bit, but not as obnoxious, about the Vancouver Canucks jerseys from the 1980s. I will link below if that you see a picture, maybe I find a picture to put it up there where there's also the V on there. In principle, I like the idea. I'm just not sure why the V uh, has to change colors towards the bottom. Make it a straight red V. I mean, it gives it some special thing, but uh, it also becomes a little bit over overthought, I have to say. But yes, uh, it is a very strong look. Uh, I hope a look that's where the Venezuela probably keeps on uh, using because I think it, it you can build on this. Let lad lad put it that way. And if you look at my blog about the Venezuela kids that were at the last Copa America in 2015, this is a vast improvement. Um, it's bold. It is absolutely bold. Uh, I'm not so sure how much I like it, but I, let's say, if in doubt, let's give this also. Um, I wanna, yeah, let's give this seven stars. Let's give this seven stars just for the idea behind it. And finally, we come to my probably favorite team in this group, which is Peru. Given that I have family relations with, they count as my, one of my family teams that I like beyond the typical ranking that I have, uh, they go on top. And I'm happy that Peru released a special Copa America kit and not these rather questionable new marathon kits that were released after the World Cup. They got a classic looking Peru shirt in every regard, uh, down to the crest with the two stars for the two Copa America wins that they have. Marathon outdid themselves in, in here. The Peru shirt anyway is already one of the, how to say, most recognizable looks out there. Now you have it with the nice shirt collar, you have the sash going uh, over as it should with the new marathon, with the marathon logo of course, and the same is also on the back, uh, which really hits home the point. The only thing I would like is that it, that it connects over the shoulders, which unfortunately it doesn't do here. Um, not so sure about the golden uh, bands here on the sleeves, but you know it fits nicely with the new Federation crest, which also has this golden outline. Overall, a really, really sharp look. One that I would like to see carry long into this tournament, to be honest. Um, I'm also, despite my little qualm that those the, the, the sashes on the front and back don't connect because of um, shoulder panel, I need to give this 10 stars. The away jersey is basically the same thing, except white is exchanged for black and maybe there's a little bit more gold in there, uh, which is a new look. The current uh, away jersey doesn't also look that bad, but it's all red with a little bit of gradient, which, as I said, doesn't look that bad, but it's not worn at the Copa America. These black ones look very interesting. Maybe, since I already have a Peru home jersey, if I had to choose between those two, I probably would even go with the black one, although this white one looked really great. But the black one is also uh, quite nice and special. Again, the sash doesn't connect, but we have the nice um, shirt collar. Uh, I actually like that we have here the red detailing instead of, of the golden, and uh, the golden marathon logo fits nicely with the crest. These are all really nice. Um, not as nice. I think in white it just looks much better and for that reason I only give this nine stars. But overall I have to say this group is probably the best looking group at the entire Copa America. Um, every game that I watched so far was a joy to watch from a visual point of view and that is always a good thing to have. Anyway, let me know what you thought about these jerseys, whether you like them or dislike them. Give me a thumbs up. 
Um, if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and I will talk to you soon with the second part of the Copa America Jersey Review. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel all things my soccer universe and with that I want to wish you a wonderful day.